Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be solving the legal question repeated substring pattern. All right, so in this question, we're given a non-empty string, and we need to check if it can be constructed by taking a substring of it and appending multiple copies of the substring together. You may assume that the given string consists of lowercase English letters only, and the length does not exceed 10,000. Okay, so it's pretty simple, and what they're asking is, so we're given a string a, b, a, b, uh, and we want to see if there's any sort of repetition or is there any substring which is repeated in our string. So in this case, the answer is true because the substring a, b is repeated two times. But if you look over here, a, b, a, the, it's false because there's no repetition of any substring, right? Uh, but then again, if you look over here, a, b, c, a, b, c, a, b, c, a, b, c, you can see there's a repetition of the substring a, b, c. So let's see how we can solve this and it's not too hard. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by having some sort of string variable. And what this string variable is going to do is it's going to hold a letter, right? And a letter or a set of letters. And these letters are going to be what is the repetition. So in the beginning, let's say we were trying to solve this question, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. And in that case, in the beginning, our uh, string would have the letter A, and we would assume that the repetition would be for the letter A. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check. So we're going to take A, take that and multiply it by how, and make it the same length as our input. So it would be A, 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 and then obviously they're not the same. So then in that case, we're going to go to our little substring and we're going to add the next letter. So now we're going to add the letter B. So now we have A, B as our substring. And then we're going to make a string out of that. So then we'll have AB, 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 and so on and so forth. But again, it is not going to be the same as our input here. So again, that's not our answer. So we're going to go to the next step, which is adding C. And once we add C, we're going to have a pattern. So we're going to have ABC, 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 which is well the same as what our input is. And in that case, we're going to return true. So for this substring, we're going to keep adding letters until we reach the midway point. So why the midway point? So let's say we have a character with six letters. So the maximum repetition it could have is three letters. And the reason for that is because for it to be a repetition, it must be repeated at least two times. So let's say we have something with six letters and it's ABC, ABC. So in that case, the maximum repetition can be of three letters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check only until our halfway point and past our halfway point, we're not going to check anymore because if there are more letters than the halfway point, that means that there is not going to be any repetition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should be pretty simple to write in code and let's see how we can do that. All right, so let's start off by defining that uh, repetition that we was talking uh, that I was talking about. So I'll just call that a variable rep and it's just going to start off being an empty string. And after that, I'm also going to define one more variable and this is going to be the length length of our string and the reason i'm declaring it over here is because we're going to be calling it quite a few times so better to just call it once and store it in a variable so this is going to store the length of s okay so now that we have this we're going to go inside of a for loop so i'll do for i in range so we're going to iterate through the length of our string oh sorry we can just call length of s length underscore s okay so now we have everything from zero all the way to the length of our string. But like we said earlier, we don't want to go that far. We just want to go until the halfway point because once you go past the halfway point, you're not going to find any repetition anyways. So this is going to end up saving us time. So to go divided by two, we're just going to do integer division and divide it by two. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is we want to add whatever letter we are at to our repetition string. So rep plus equal, so then we're going to add whatever is at the index i. And that's going to be part of our repetition substring. So over here, we can do a check to actually make this process faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the length of s and we're going to uh, perform the modulo operation with the length of our um, this uh, repetition string. And if this is equal to zero, what does that mean? So why is this step actually useful? And the answer is that, so let's say we have a length of s, which is 10, and our substring, the repetition substring here, has a length of 3. 
So if that was the case, we're never going to have a proper uh, repetition which reaches the input. And the reason for that is because, well, 3 multiplied by 3 gives you 9. You can never get 10 out of 3. So in that case, we're never going to get an answer, so we're not going to go inside of this if statement. So our if statement is just going to make it a little bit faster. And once, so if this is true, that means that it is possible for our repetition to fit the length of the input uh, string. But now we want to check if the characters also match. So how can we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our repetition substring and we're going to multiply it by a certain number, which is going to make it the same length as our string s. And how can we do that? All right, so that's pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the length of s and we're going to perform integer division with the length of our rep. So for example, if our string has a length of 6 and our uh, rep a repetitive substring has a length of 2, then this is going to give us a value of 3, telling us that the repetition substring has to be repeated for a total of 3 times. So if this is equal to this, uh, the string s, then that means that we found our answer. And in that case, we're just going to return true. Okay, and that should be it. So if that is not the case, uh, outside of our for loop, we're going to end up returning false, and that should be it. So let's submit our answer. And as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have any questions or if there are any specific leak code questions you want me to solve. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.